All right, waited long enough and it's finally here. Well, somewhat here. <laughs> Shipping company had it like 30 minutes away for over a month and a half. They lost it, kept calling and calling and it's finally here. Hopefully it's here in one piece. <laughs> Man. Yeah, we'll see how this looks like. Let's open them up. All right, got one opened here so far. Don't see major damage anywhere. Let's see on this side. Drawers looking good. Straight, no dents. Let's open the second one. All right, doesn't look like they set anything on top. I know a lot of shipping companies like to set heavy things on top of pallets, which is no good. Each box comes in locked. And on the bottom drawer here, we have the casters, handle, all the hardware, and the mats that go into each drawer, as always. So in these boxes, they do not come with the wheels already installed. So the largest box and the cart with the lid come with the wheels already installed and they come like inside of pieces of wood like that. So the bottom area is encased with the wheels already mounted on. So this one didn't have it. And fortunately it looks like it just slid around and uh, let's take them all the way out, put the wheels on and see how they look. Alrighty, with a little help from my buddy here, <laughs> we have all three now lined up in a row here, looking very, very sweet. Check that out. Wheels went on very well. Actually, I jumped forward here a little bit and I ended up uh, level everything out, level, level the uh, casters out in the back. So let me show you here. Casters are with little shims back there because the back needs to be raised up just so it could be perfectly level from the back to the front. Had to shim this corner up a little bit because concrete's a little bit off. So concrete's always gonna be off in a garage. And I did get lucky because the concrete does go up to the point where I had started over there and it's just, just perfect right here. So I got lucky, not too much of a gap over there. So hopefully we won't notice that when I get the top completely on, the top is going to be going to be flooring. So the flooring, as I mentioned in my last video, is going to be adhered with resilient flooring adhesive. And uh, I'm going to have to piece these out just right so it looks nice all the way along. So that's going to be a project there going all the way down with that. Put some 2x4s back here to make sure that they don't wiggle around so that the shims and the 2x4s Everything's gonna be nice and sturdy. And uh, yeah, check this out. Already have my old school gear wrenches here. And we have a million follower gear wrench, 25 millimeter here, because they celebrated their millionth follower through all platforms. So a million people follow them through all platforms, which is nice. Nice little limited edition 1 million wrench right there. That's super nice. Nice and steady slam right there. Nothing gonna be shaking when I get these all the way in and in case. So that's gonna be super stiff there and not gonna move around. So yeah, not bad for a home gamer box and uh, not too deep. So he's like 18 and then it's gonna be like 23 with the, the uh, complete bench all the way down. So it's not gonna be too much in the way here. And the shelves, last we left off was the shelves at the end over here. And I went all the way down here to the end. There's my construction there on the upper shelves. Kind of a, like a little um, learning process here because <laughs> I had to level out this one. I need to level out that one. I don't know if you can see the dip on each one. I didn't realize that the uh, angle here had to be level as well. I had it, the whole face of everything leveled all the way down and I started over here and then I went down over here and started noticing that this is not square over here. So <laughs> I had to uh, get these cross members here to raise it up and hopefully over by the time I work on it over here, it's gonna be nice and square. 
So there is my process on that. Way too heavy to build these off in a bench somewhere and raise them up. I don't have any help. I don't think this guy is strong enough. <laughs> but yeah, I might put another cross beam right there. It's, it's not too bad right there. It's, it's more level here than it is down here. So over here, it starts sagging down, but the face is level. And I didn't realize that as I was drilling down, there's still six inches all the way of a gap all the way around. So it's kind of difficult, difficult getting up there. But yeah, there's my construction on that and the update on that. And uh, with this gear inch series, maybe I'll do a little segment at the end of each and I'll show you an update on the tools or oh, update on the toolboxes actually. Um, one mod I did was I took out the locks. So like the locks, um, I already have stuff in that one. It's, it's quite a mess, but yeah, the locks don't really get in the way. But I noticed a couple times every time I open every once in a while that they do get stuck. So I took out, drilled out the locks. Here's my bottle opener drawer, one of them. So I'll have more space. <laughs> it's quite a mess right now, but yeah, it's not too bad. Doesn't get in the way, but uh, just a little mod I did so far on them. But other than that, they've been great. I know times have been hard with the shipping and they did take quite a bit, but I had the tool truck brand toolboxes, the same issue, six months to get them in the way I wanted it. I am really picky with my stuff. I buy gear wrench stuff from time to time. So I bought these two back in August, August 2nd. So it took a little bit over two months to get it. I know I've been playing around with uh, Acme tools here, messing around with them. I know it's tough getting stuff shipped out. It's like uh, hit or miss with this time of year and time with everything going on. But yeah, it's, uh, uh, man, I'm glad they survived. Glad they made it. Picked it up off of uh, a 15% off sale. So Acme Tools has like a 15% off sale every once in a while. So I picked them up just under 900 bucks each. I think they shot up a little bit over 900 now. But yeah, 900 bucks each minus the 15% off on that. So yeah, I picked up a pretty good deal on these two. So time to time, I buy stuff from Gear Ranch just to test it out. I don't wanna be uh, showing you guys stuff that's gonna be a headache. And uh, yeah, I just wanna make it real. And the next segment on here with my Gear Wrench garage, I wanna show you the 92 ratchets. So let's take a look at them and how they've been so far. All right, so a recap on the 90 tooth ratchets here. I know it's been a while since I've done a 90 tooth ratchet video. It's been quite some time. These have been out for a while. I do get a lot, a lot of questions in my DMs on Instagram. Are these good? Are they good ratchets? Yes, they are. I've been putting this one to use, as you can see. I kind of cleaned it up before I brought it here. I need to bring it back to work again because I do use this a lot. Definitely one of my favorites. Definitely nice, it's gonna get cold soon, so this comfort grip is nice and not freezing cold in the morning. If you got the first service to do in the morning, you got a nice comfort grip here. It's not gonna freeze your hand off here. <laughs> it's uh, definitely one of my favorites now, having a comfort grip. I've been liking comfort grips lately a lot yeah, because uh, I've been using a lot of just the solid ones because of access issues. These are not too big, not too, uh, not too small, just right. I like how this one flattens out. The half inch is quite big though, and the uh, quarter inch, I haven't got too much use out of them, but the quarter inch is not too bad. It's just, uh, yeah, just you, you'll normally see this end in a lot of photos, and, but you don't see this end. It's nice and flat, nice little ergonomic grip there. So yeah, you get a nice shot here. How it's been, it's been dunked in oil, and you can see right here also all the crud in there. Um, I'm not too fan of the detent style with many ratchets like that. It kind of trips me out, but uh, I got used, I'm getting used to it. So yeah, and then the switches don't switch off on me too much. There's another uh, thing with the switches. They switch on me while working and I don't like that too much, but this one hasn't been too much of an issue switching on me while working. And nice thin profile here, which is great. And it been a lot better than the tool truck brands that I bought back. And if you followed me for quite a while, had a warranty, a tool truck one similar to this a couple times and ended up trading it back into the truck. So this one, no issues, been great. I definitely recommend the 92 brand. And over here, 
I had an eye on this one for quite some time and I wanted to see how it comes in. It shows as a pre-order for some reason on Amazon, but it's been out for a little bit now so far. Uh, this is one of their newer uh, versions of the 90 tooth coming in with the small and large spark plugs attached to a extension. This is the 812-29T. It runs you about $76 on Amazon currently. And it shows, yeah, it shows a pre-order. I don't know why, so it's still fairly new. Stuff, yeah, once again, stuff is all wacky right now. So I, I like to order stuff myself and see how they come in just to uh, help you guys out. I keep an eye on deals as well. I haven't seen much deals on Gear Wrench lately. So keep an eye on my stories on Instagram. I post gear wrench stuff and deals quite often, but not lately. Here's the back of this one. Yeah, so 76 bucks for this one. Oh, this one runs you just over a hundred bucks, but still a good deal compared to the tool truck brand. So yeah, definitely. Uh, let's get into this one and take a closer look. All right, here it is out of the packaging. Looks pretty cool. A little bit it's about the, oh, it's the same length as the other one here what is the length on it uh this one is 14 so yeah for 13 14 ish with the bend on it the reason why you get a bent handle is because uh it keeps your knuckles out of the way so isn't that cool <laughs> so this is my first time owning one so i can't say too much about a bent angle one if it's going to be stripping stuff because you're at an angle and uh yeah, we'll see how that goes. So yeah, this is gonna be a first look on this one. But uh, yeah, definitely had my eye on this one. So I, I uh, can't wait to get it into use. Looks like we have all the way this way and all the way that way. And maybe we can do a little action like that. I don't know, that might work cool. <laughs> Interesting, got the 90 tooth in there, nice and thin. Looks just as thin as the locking flex. Yeah, yeah, just as thin and uh, distance in the locking section looks about the same so it looks like it's uh pretty uniform across there the detents are uh, a little bit you get more out of the locking it looks like yeah this one has less detents you can just get a few detents and the locking one you get more detents out of it you can see the teeth are uh, bigger on the non-locking so yeah more positions on the locking so this is definitely a good ratchet for locking. And uh, sorry about the focus here. As we can see, yeah, it, they hold quite nicely. Let's see the anvil, how they stick on these extensions. The anvil, it's another frustration having with a spark plug socket is the anvil falling off. And then you gotta dig in there to get the spark plug out. The anvil is definitely tight on these. So that's good right there. So yeah, the only thing I'd be worried about is stripping stuff out. If it moves on you and you you go uh, get a curb on it and oh, uh, yeah. So that's the only worry I have so far on this. And we have a pin detent right here. So we get zoom in on here, the pin detent. So it is a ring that holds the pin in. This is a, uh, like a, like a pressed in ring there. So the, the pin doesn't slide out. Seems pretty smooth. And this is the 5 eighths. So I'll get use out of this one at least a little bit. Looks like it has a magnetic ring and a plastic uh, bushing in there. That's cool that it's blue. That's, looks pretty sweet in there. <laughs> right on. Don't want to go too far on this video. And this is the larger size right there. Won't be getting much use out of this one. We don't see these spark plugs much anymore. And yeah, cool little set. Cool tray here. They are flimsy. They do last a little bit at least, not bad. Sorry again about the focus. And next up here we have the Gear Wrench 6-in-1 Stubby Ratcheting Multi-Bit Driver, the 861R. This one will run you about 16 bucks on Amazon. I wanted to see how these were coming in. These are pretty new still, and I think it shows in stock. So yeah, I'm just testing out how we get these. So yeah, I ordered from Amazon, showed up. So. Hopefully it will show up for you. Let's get in on in and see this one real quick. All right, here's all the info for you. Pause it right there. Don't want to go too far on this ratcheting driver. Already kind of felt it a little bit. It, it, it's okay. It's not going to be something fancy. It's going to be maybe 
get some strength on it. It is all steel up here. This is plastic, but uh, I've noticed so far, this kind of barely moves on you. You barely tap that thing, it'll reverse on you. Already kind of, yeah, see, already got it to lock. So yeah, keep that in mind with this one. Good thing I bought the stubby first and not the full size one. Just wanted to see what these were all about. Cool orange on them, but uh, yeah, just uh, your typical coarse ratcheting bit driver. Nothing too special. The magnet's pretty strong on the bit. Here's a number two. You get along already installed on the end. And it looks like a gasket here to seal off the end right here. You get a lug in there. We get a 3 16 and a quarter inch. I don't know why they chose hex on that. The number one and a uh, 3 16 and a quarter inch flat head. This slug seat. Let's see if we can get it to come out here. It's got like two little, like, points where it rides on right there and it kind of holds it in. So the bits come out kind of first there. So you have 3 16 quarter inch, yeah, 3 16 quarter inch, and then a number one. And looks like it is serviceable at least. Maybe I can uh, take it apart later on and kind of see what's going on in there. But yeah, there's a little Torx down there to uh, remove it. So yeah, it's got quite a bit of wobble on there. As we can see, some metal going on. Oh. Wow, we can uh, tear it apart there. <laughs> Just rides on a little plastic ring there. Maybe we can uh, get it to switch less that way. Oh, there we go. I might be more slick there, that's sick. <laughs> but <laughs> yeah, cool, it only goes in one way right here. I uh, wish it had a little hex thing on there. Maybe we can use it as a thumb driver. Uh, hopefully they're seeing this and uh, we can see that maybe um, they can do a little bit more changes on this. Put a little hex thing on there. You can use it a little, little uh, close quarter thumb driver there. So that would be cool right there. This is what I'm here for guys. Uh, I would catch this thing on a sale. Wouldn't catch it at full price at 16 bucks. Seems a little steep for a little stubby like this. Yeah, so definitely catch it on a sale or maybe use it on Acme tools or something to meet your th shipping threshold or something like that. But uh, I wouldn't get it by itself. Yeah, yeah just your typical ratcheting bit driver. Nothing special here. Cool orange on it, but uh, yeah. Definitely cool to see this here. Uh, hopefully I'll get an update on my shed again soon and then uh, do a recap on something. Maybe I might buy something else. Keep an eye out uh, for SEMA. Hopefully they will be there at SEMA. I'm going to SEMA pretty soon. Maybe I'll get a video before then. It's coming up really fast though. But uh, yeah, hopefully we get to see some more new stuff or something. They're kind of in the works. There's a lot of people saying they're going or saying they're not going. So we'll see how that goes. And yeah, I will be there at SEMA though. So yeah, definitely keep an eye out on that. And uh, don't want to make this video too long again here. Thank you for watching guys and on to the next.